All right. Well, welcome everyone either tuning in through Facebook Live or joining us here in the in the reel on Facebook or uh, excuse me, Zoom. It's been a long day and I'm very tired and I'm sure you all feel some <laughs> anomaly of that yourself. Um, Welcome to our town hall on the conference where we're going to give you kind of a crash course on uh, what the conference will be like this year and what to expect and potentially how to prepare. I'm Leslie Grace and I'm joined by um, the Leadership Council as well as a few other board members popping on. Uh, myself and Mr. Ben Hoffman will be presenting to you and any other Leadership Council members can feel free to chime in as well um, on any topics that we go. So with that said, welcome and away we go. So uh, this is our agenda that'll break it down, the what, where, when, and we'll go over our keynote speakers, as well as some of the main events happening, the sessions, and a few things about around town um, and registration. And Ben, I will let you take the next slide. All right. So I'm very excited to welcome everyone here, as well as welcome everyone to Lancaster this October. So the PAEA annual conference will take place in downtown Lancaster from October 28th through the 30th. Uh, kind of a pre-conference on that Friday evening with a full day on both the 29th and 30th. Great. So the conference is um, our yearly get together with relevant professional development. It serves our mission for bringing professional development to our uh, membership. And it's just a great opportunity to gather and learn from one another and to share what you're an expert at with our members. Um, typically, we travel around the state to try to make it equitable for the different regions since we are such a large state. So for instance, next year, we'll be in the wonderful coastal lake, lake coastal city of Erie, um, which which I'm excited about because I've never been over in that corner of the state, so I'm, I'm stoked. Um, and typically we have two to three keynotes and lots of options of on-site and off-site workshops and sessions that all go over the best practices in art ed. There you go, Ben. So like I said, talking about where and when we'll be together, uh, held the Lancaster Marriott Penn Square in the heart of Lancaster. I just shared the conference URL. So if you want to tag into that, you can see we have a block of rooms available and you don't want to miss that opportunity. And like we said, new to this year, we heard you, you know, we wanted to respond to the sub shortage and the lack of ability to take off for professional development. So we are really gearing up to provide you two full days from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., both Saturday and Sunday, full of sessions as well as an optional offsite pre-conference like we shared on Friday um, for a nominal fee at the Pennsylvania Guild of Craftsmen for a fused glass workshop. Sounds really awesome. Our keynote speakers this year are both authors uh, with the artist or art education twist to their writings. Uh, we have Austin Cleon, Steal Like an Artist, and then Rachel Branham's What's So Great About Art Anyway. Um, both of them really great books. Uh, and they will be speaking Austin on Saturday and Rachel on Sunday. And Dana, let me get your permission. Can I say what the conference gift will be at this point? I have a head nod. Our conference gift that you will get in your swag bag will be a copy of Austin Cleon Steal Like an Artist book. So if you don't have it, you'll get it. Yay. Um, but if you don't have Rachel Branham's book, it's a really cool sort of graphic novel style book. I highly suggest checking that out. And uh, yeah, we're really excited to welcome those two authors and keynote speakers. Leslie. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, you're actually going to get the Show Your Work book. Show Your Work. My bad. That's right. Thank you. Because yeah, that's the title of our, that's the theme of our conference. That makes sense. Thank you <laughs> for the clarification. So it's the show your work book, friends, uh, following the theme of our conference. All right, Ben. And we're really excited this year. Um, each year we have our legacy breakfast where we honor um, an incredible art educator and one who is, continues to do incredible work, just published another work with, uh, Experiencing art for middle school teachers through the Davis publications is Dr. Marilyn Stewart, uh, Emeriti of Clitzley University. And that'll be Saturday at 7.45 a.m. It is a ticketed event. We have limited number of tickets, but there are still tickets available. And it is an incredible opportunity to meet um, a spectrum of incredible educators in one space at one time. I'd love to see you there. Yes, it's always really awesome to hear their story uh, presented while eating a delicious breakfast. 
Um, furthermore, we have our gala event, which is a ticketed event, and it's our Saturday night uh, art party, if you will. I have a few images there from some previous galas, um, and you are encouraged to come in Halloween costume, as you see a few of us messed around with that a few years ago in um, uh, Penn State. Um, but it'll be a fun chance to just mingle in a lighthearted way with all of your colleagues uh, and meet new folks. Uh, do a little dancing, have a drink, make some art, and just really have a good time together where we can kind of let our guard down for a minute as an art teacher. <laughs> And in addition to that, we have an incredible uh, lineup of artists who, an art educator, excuse me, who we get to recognize at our state conference. And here you have this year's award recipients who we have the pleasure of recognizing on Sunday from 12 to 1.30 p.m. Uh, during lunch. And this is included along with your registration. But this is where we uh, celebrate the achievement over the past year and several many years that led to them to this moment. Um, being recognized by a fellow colleague or an administrator to celebrate their achievements in art education. And this recognizes both elementary all the way through higher ed, as well as our museum division and friends of art education. So very excited to recognize these individuals and celebrate their achievements with all of you. Absolutely. Also a good opportunity to just learn and see what awards uh, we have available that maybe you are possibly a candidate for or know somebody who would make a great um, person to be recognized in that regard. Our general membership meeting is also served during lunch this year, which is great. So I have a captive audience. Um, it will be my final membership meeting presenting at, and uh, that is on Saturday. And it's a great opportunity to learn about what PAEA has going on. We'll also be voting on the next president elect, as well as um, a few other regional representative positions. And you also have the opportunity to learn about PAEA's financial standing. Again, it's just a really great time to. Um, um, learn about what's going on and maybe kind of point out those folks who you could get in touch with to learn more about becoming more involved in the Art Education Association. Absolutely. And in, in addition to being a leader, it doesn't always have to come with a role. And we want to give folks an opportunity to have their work shine, hence the title of this year's conference, Show Your Work. Uh, we're very excited to continue our tradition of members, Mart. So we want to bring together your work give you the opportunity to put your work on display as well as bring in some revenue personally so we'll have tables set up the members mart uh, this does include a registration on the conference letting us know that you want to participate but we'll have a table available for you and the feature is fine and crafts created by colleagues and i'm actually fortunate to own pieces by two of those lovely ladies there uh, so that'll be from 11 to 12 30 on saturday as a, a pre-function so i hope to have you there right and uh, that is right before lunch um, yeah. so do a little shopping, eat some food, hear from about the uh, general membership. <laughs> um, our vendors hall uh, is where we will have multiple vendors set up to showcase their products to you. And you can go and ask questions from Blick to other local universities uh, and colleges. So that's always a fun place that our teachers like to go and you know, get free stuff, right? Um, and that'll be both Saturday and Sunday, all day from 8.30 to 4 p.m. Oh, right now we're pivoting here to our conference sessions and some offsite workshops. So things to think about how to prepare for the conference and you have your schedule and you know it's a digital program we invite you to keep kind of give yourself a timeline stamp out the things that are most important to you while rooms may fill up you know where do you want to be at what time so book your room now carve out time to attend be fully present when you are there conferences can be a lot so also give yourself, and it doesn't say here, give yourself time for breaks as well. You know, that's where going out to the vendors, plan those breaks intentionally so that you can give yourself time to digest this great content. Um, giving that time, you know, plan sessions ahead, bring something to write, take pictures with, and pump yourself up to have a great time. And as the program is linked in the um, presentation, that can also be found in that conference URL that's been provided in the chat this evening. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm just thinking too about something I don't think we included in the slides, which is Act 48 hours. I mean, we do mention that, um, yeah. but don't have to stress about that while you're at the conference. Just keep tabs of which sessions you attended because you will be shared a link from our director of programming, Jill Anders, um, to fill out which sessions you went to and all the information about how you'll use it in your classroom to receive those Act 48 hours. And that will be after the conference. So just keep note of which sessions you attend. That's 
going to be the most important part there. And uh, some of our highlights, just to showcase a few. Um, Friday, of course, Ben mentioned the Fuse Glass at the Craftsman Guild, the Guild of Craftsmen, excuse me. Um, and then Saturday, there's a few offsite sessions that look really interesting. There's indigo dyeing. I don't know how to say this word. Santi eggs. I'm so sorry. I should have looked that up ahead of time. Um, but it's you know, painting eggs like. Hi, Santi. Thank you. For listening. <laughs> I didn't even think to look that word up. Uh, workshop at the Curio, which is a sort of fine art. Uh, I looked it up. It's like cute, cute stuff, like art and cute stuff, handmade, local stuff. Um, and then <laughs> Tina, I'm butchering that you're laughing, but it's cute. I looked it up and I definitely am going to at least be going there. Um, Sunday, we have a jelly printing workshop, Guild of Craftsmen's also, also presenting 3D pens. And those are just a few of the options that are available, of course, just to highlight. So there's plenty more to, to be had and you can check out all of the offerings on paeaconference.org. Um, in addition, we give you time to connect with folks who are regional and also in the same division that you are. So uh, recognizing that when you sign up through your PAEA and NAEA, you belong to a larger network of divisions and regions. So folks geographically that meet closely, you'll have time to meet up with them from 3.30 to 3.55 on Saturday. And again, this is uh, reiterated in that digital program. And then the division meetups are earlier um, on Sunday, and it's an opportunity to meet with your elementary division, other middle school art educators, and so forth. So it's just a chance to have some cross collaboration of minds and build that network for you so that when you leave the conference, the conference never ends. You have those folks to stay connected with you around. Yeah, and to build on to that too, it's a great opportunity to have your voice voice heard to some of our PAEA board members. Uh, you know, tell your regional representative what you would like to see as a workshop offered, or maybe you have an idea that you could present um, as a workshop with in conjunction with the regional rep or even your division chair. So it's a great opportunity to have your voice heard. Um, and this year we've brought back the member art exhibit, which we're very excited about. And we've got the lovely past president, Lisbeth Bucci there uh, next to one of her pieces from, um, I believe that was at Penn State also, yes. Um, so that will be six to 8 p.m. on Saturday with an opening reception for Show Your Work exhibition. Um, it is free and open to the public. So definitely uh, see if you can carve away some time to check out that wonderful art show. Or stop there before you come to the gala. Yes, thank you, Dana. Yes, in the same building. Oh, perfect. Same building. And, and with any conference, if you've ever been to one of our previous PAEA conferences or attended NAEA, we invite you to find the time to explore. It's not just about connecting with ourselves and each other, but to get out and see the community and experience the art in that you know particular space. So Lancaster is full of public art. There's a myriad of colleges and galleries. There's a great rich history there and great restaurants. And as Leslie alluded to, there's cute shops. And that's the curio one right here at the top. Uh, you see what I mean? It has like cute art gallery space, but also just cute artisan type crafts and jewelry and whatnot. I, I, my words, it's a end of a long Monday, so bleh. <laughs> Um, of course, registering is very important for everyone to make their way to the conference. So you um, can simply go to paeaconference.org to register. Um, you shouldn't need to add all this sites.google info in there uh, straight, just paeaconference.org should get you there. Um, and I believe, Ben, you put it in the chat. Is that correct? Yep. Yep, there it is, perfect. So there's also a link in the chat for that. And it's also linked on our website, paea.org. So if you can't remember all those other words, paea.org, and then just look for the link on our webpage. Um, and uh, there you will register. You'll also have the option to sign up for the Members Mart, buy tickets for the gala or the legacy breakfast. All of that is embedded in there. So make sure you get that done. If for some reason you decide um, that you wanna go to a ticketed session that you did not by in advance, uh, just ask at the registration desk uh, when you, whenever you get there, Friday night or Saturday morning, and um, just ask to see if there's more tickets left. And Dana or Jess or whomever's behind the registration desk, myself, we'll happy to oblige and help you out there. You can always adjust your registration afterwards too. 
if you go into your conference email and scroll all the way to the bottom, there's like a blue click here link and it doesn't really, it's very nondescript. But if you go into your confirmation email, go to the bottom and click here, it will allow you to go in and modify your registration. So if there's something you wanna add that you didn't when you registered, you can always make that adjustment. Thank you, Dana. I didn't know that. Good to, good to know. All right, well, that's pretty much our conference bit. So now we're just getting on a, a few reminders and some advertising thing. So at the uh, uh, conference, you might wanna show off some PAEA swag. Um, and this is our, our swag shop. Uh, and you can get products with the logo on it, uh, the, the, the conference logo, as well as PAEA logos. You could also upload other things and um, customize your designs and put like your name on it. Um, so it'd be really great if you were able to, you know, sponsor or PAEA a little bit uh, with the, the logo popping around uh, as a kickback of those funds do go back into the organization to help us uh, bring uh, more interesting keynotes and just help keep the, the association running vitally. Um, also, drum roll, there is a discount that will be started. I saw you do that, Roni. <laughs> There'll be a discount starting tomorrow, 20% off your order, and it'll last um, for two days. Uh, so 20% off your order starting tomorrow, lasting for two days. So I've got my cart already loaded, I'm ready to make my purchase tomorrow. <laughs> So definitely take advantage of that. And it is also linked on our website, paea.org. So again, if all those words are just too much for you right now, paea.org. Throw it to you, Ben. Yeah. The other thing we have just year round, we're happy to continue to celebrate Student Artist of the Month. And we bring attention to and recognize one student each month. And we've kind of set it up to recognize that, you know, over the summer, kind of stagnant things are kind of recuperating for all of us but throughout the year uh, we want to celebrate one elementary school student both in January and in May and then as so subsequently middle school student in February and October a secondary student in March and November as well as a higher ed in April and December and we are constantly looking for folks we post these out on our social media and our division directors help solicit that but if you are interested uh, even as an early nomination we'd love to help celebrate a student. And it's a pretty easy process, just having them upload work, a few written statements, and it's selected. And sometimes we've actually been unable to select just one. We've had to put two up, uh, which is awesome, and recognize them on our social media and advocacy to your program. Yes, thank you, Anna. So we look forward to seeing you in Lancaster. Oh, I said it wrong, Lancaster. I corrected myself then, don't hate me. <laughs> I'm not from Philly or Pennsylvania, even originally also deal with it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we look forward to seeing you in Lancaster and we do hope you register and uh, really just come and talk to us, especially if you want to get more involved with PAEA as the organization. Um, I believe that is the last slide except for questions. So um, if you have any questions, I'm going to stop sharing so we can see your beautiful faces. And feel free to ask or put in the chat. I'm going to also try to pull up the Facebook and see if there's any questions populating in the Facebook Live. So Jill asked about parking. Mm. There is a garage that's connected to the convention center and the hotel. If you booked a room at the hotel, your parking is included in the cost of your hotel. So you should not be paying a parking fee. That's already in that, well, whatever your nightly rate is. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, if you park in the garage and you're not staying at the hotel, I do believe it's $20 a day, but I can double check on that price because I'm not sure off the top of my head what that is, but there is a garage there that you can park in. Perfect, thank you, Dana. The room rate is $199 per night, just FYI. Thank you, Jess. And uh, we also have our conference chair, Leslie Gates on. If you wanna say anything else or add to it, Leslie, please feel free to jump in. <laughs> that works. <laughs> yep. Dana and I are working. We're little bees. So, yeah. We did have to, Dana, did you tell them about the ex exhibition, the response, or any of that? No, going? that will be coming out tonight. We have the um the exhibition has been juried and we have that list that will be coming out. Those 
were supposed to come out today. So they'll be out yet this evening. And so if you submitted, you'll find out this tonight if your work has been accepted. Um, the, the juror, Leslie, what's her name? Heidi Leitsky. She has um, put together what she thinks is a really strong show. So even though we have, um, we had a lot of pieces submitted, which is- And we had really 108 cool. pieces submitted, which was awesome. Yeah, so she's, she's juried it to put together a really nice showing um, for what she feels will be good in the space. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll have that coming out to you tonight. And um, Saturday night is gonna be really, really powerful. I think between Austin's keynote from four to five, then there's a book signing after if you wanna have your book signed. And then the uh, reception for the art show starts at six at PCAD and then the gala starts at 6.30. And we did have some wonderful alcohol donations, which we're excited for, for the gala. So wine and beer, some from some local um, people that we like to support and uh, a DJ and some art making fun and Halloween costume, maybe a contest in there. I'm not sure if we're gonna have a prize to give away, but it'll be fun anyway to judge. Um, so Saturday night is just going to be really packed with great stuff. So if you can stick around or if you want to get a hotel room and stay downtown with us, it'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. So I think we're overloading because we've condensed to two days. So there's so much <laughs> stuff on Saturday night. It'll be fun though. It'll be good. All right. Well, if nobody else has any questions from our folks who have joined us, then we can end this meeting. And I thank you all for joining us and we'll see you in Lancaster. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> see you later. Yeah. Recording. All right. Thank you all. Oh, bye. Thank you for coming on. <laughs> sure.